guys tom tucker again with your day three buoy 10 update today fishing was better this morning than it was the last couple days i joined the fleet today up around astoria um got on that early troll and got a couple fish pretty early and it was definitely the best bite i've seen thus far out here um it definitely died down after a while and I opted to go away from all the boats and kind of just fish on my own. And I don't know if it was the best idea. Maybe I should have stuck around with the fleet and just grinded it out and looked for the rest of our fish. We ended up going to a different area down on the Washington side and just grinded for, you know, a good amount of hours. Got a decent amount of fish um, through that. We had to release wild coho, um, some shorts, lost a really nice fish right at the boat to a stupid sea lion. That was frustrating, especially when, you know, the kid had it right at the boat and it got chomped right there. So that was kind of lame. That's my first one I've lost to a sea lion this season. But overall, it was a great trip. I had a great crew and a bunch of folks got to catch their first salmon. Uh, some returning customers got to catch some big kings and Overall, we just had a really nice day on the water down here on Astoria in 80 degree weather in the summertime. Can't beat it. Catching kings, chrome, URBs. Love it. Um, that being said, I guess I'll throw a little tip out there for today and just in general out here when you're fishing. I think something that's overlooked a lot is not so much what color flash you're using or necessarily where you're fishing i think there's a ton of fish in this system right now and i think you can catch fish pretty much everywhere if you put in the time but the biggest thing is i think people aren't fishing their setups properly or they'll run the same bait for an hour you know without checking it and maybe they got some grass on it and it turns out they're not fishing at all so i guess my piece of advice would be you know check your baits often especially you know when not much is going on if you're on a hot bike granted keep your baits down there and, and fish them but you know if you're trying to fish the bottom work on that get your guys you know constantly readjusting doing your best to stay down there uh, there's no sense in trying to fish the bottom and being five six seven feet from it so i don't know that's that's my little piece of advice. It was another long day. I had six customers. We ended up killing four kings and overall had a really great day. Can't wait for tomorrow, but I got to got to fuel the boat, got a ton of boat work to do and yeah, ready for uh ready for this next week. Hopefully Monday brings not so many people out here fishing cuz the last couple days, well, since Friday it's just been crazy down here, but Anyway, uh, good luck out here and hope to see you on the water.